what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here since about halloween ends again here today so halloween ends is underway filming out in savannah georgia a lot of new behind the scenes images have been coming out and we have been seeing glimpses of L lindsey wallace played by kyle richards once again i think the most i think we've been seeing more or at least i have i've been seeing more behind the scenes images of her than anyone else uh movie is still expected of course come out later this year in october i think jason blum has gone on record to say that the movie is going to only be coming out in theaters if anyone has a s actual source for that i would love to see it i haven't been able to pinpoint it but apparently that's what jason blum has said recently he said that the movie will only be shown in theaters it's not gonna it's not gonna be going to peacock simultaneously don't know how true that is but if you do and have a source please let me know down in the comment section or just dm me on one of my social media platforms but jumping into what i want to talk about first i want to shout out jimmy champagne because he's the one who brought this to my attention i love that guy's content but he has told made a video recently where he talked about dr mathis i know i did this as well but i never thought about this the idea of michael myers getting captured again and dr mathis who again got mentioned in halloween kills we know will be a character in halloween ends we'll get to see him actually and we already know who will be playing him what if dr mathis is for whatever reason doctor doctor uh the new dr loomis he's michael's new doctor indicating that of course michael got caught once again at the end of halloween kills and just placed back in smith's grove or some other type of different sanitarium even my only concern there is that you know at this point you know you, you've done that what now three times <laughs> where michael was taken to a sanitarium age six and then once again at age 21 now again in age 60 something so and, and then he escapes and it's like okay well I mean, I, I guess that's better than having him just be out there wandering and then four years later, oh, it's Halloween night. I need I need to break out again. But then also at the same time, what are you doing now since you're in Smith's Grove once again? What are you breaking out for now? Like, what is going on that this person is breaking out once again? What is happening? <laughs> I think what would be better is if he got recaptured something about the movie just happening in smith's grove just sounds so much better in my head i'm fine with michael myers being recaptured and if the movie's called halloween ends you know i i can't say it's out of the realm of possibility that people from haddonfield i know this is a little bit but a little bit uh outlandish to think about maybe people from haddonfield going to smith's grove somehow busting their way in and going looking for michael myers who during all of that chaos while they're breaking in he escapes his room and then chaos just ensues inside Smith's Grove. Something about that just sounds a lot more fitting. Something about that just sounds a lot more fitting than another scenario where Michael Myers busts out. Not to say that it's not something that can happen. St people can make stupid mistakes multiple times, especially if it's spread out like that. I think that's the only thing that makes it a lot more plausible. The fact that it's spread out over the course of so many years. It's not something that's happening every year. So like if we had a Halloween franchise where every movie was Michael Myers getting captured at the end, taking to Smith's Grove, busting out for the next movie to happen, taking back, busting out for the next movie to happen, taking back, busted out for the next movie to happen. Like if that was how all of the Halloween movies are, then I would say, yes, that's ridiculous. Somebody at Smith's Grove needs to be fired. Smith's Grove needs a rehaul. And Michael Myers doesn't need to be going back to Smith's Grove. He needs to be taken somewhere else. <laughs> but the plausibility of it all is in fact still in it's still checking out for me since again this happened at different intervals in his life when he was six when he was 21 and now 60 something so again i can take it but i just feel like it would be better to have a movie set entirely in smith's grove where michael myers is just completely wrecking or wreaking havoc and it could be in ways like a long drawn out uh movie I guess you could say, yeah, a long drawn out movie. That's what it is. Drawn out movie of the scene from Rob Zombie's Halloween 2007, where Michael is tearing through all the people in the sanitarium before he ultimately breaks out before finally, of course, killing uh, the guy that raised him. I forget his name. He's from Spy Kids. You know what I'm talking about. But I think we can have a long drawn out process like that going down to Smith's Grove with Allison present, Lindsay present, Lori present, something about the bell tower or the radio tower of course will have to come into play in some fashion there maybe it bleeds out of smith's grove at some point and they go somewhere else michael follows them this could be that radio tower location and then for whatever reason michael ends up dying at that radio tower and i don't think his death if it indeed is a death should be something that cements that he is dead it should be something that's very ominous something that's not 
set in stone 100% for you to say, yep, he died. It should be something that indicates that any normal person would be dead. Nothing too over the top. Nothing that, of course, you should be able to sit down and say, that man's dead. Like, not the not a room or something blowing up and he's the only person in that room but then we find out he he survived like no nothing like that but just something simple maybe like uh maybe somehow drowning because you know people can go down and you can think they drowned but ultimately they didn't they made it out michael could make it out of drowning that's a potential scenario we could see if thinking he died something else could go down with him and Lori, where we see that Lori actually is alive but she believes michael is dead and you know then we could have something come over i think dr loomis is what dave mccray has said in the past i i would love for that to happen the movie ends with like dr loomis saying oh you think you have fooled you fooled them michael but not me and then the movie ends i think that'll be i think that'll be iconic an iconic way to end the uh david gordon green era of halloween films that we've been getting and i think that would be a nice little wrap up to the whole vibe that you still are trying to pay respect to regarding michael myers he's not supernatural but he's also still a man but again just like any any man there are scenarios you can find yourself in that you can't survive i get that the beating he took at the end of halloween kills is us using as an argument that he's not supernatural end of the day though the filmmakers are saying that he's still not even though again i, I can say while it's possible for someone to survive that you know he's taking a lot of shots up close for someone to still be going around walking like that <laughs> not only did he take a lot of shots up close again they were they were going to town on him on top of those gunshots so he him being alive and then a lot of you now believing he's supernatural i get it but they're still telling us he's not i just think that the whole idea of dr mathis being his doctor once again in smith's grove would be something that can be explored but i would hope that it's mostly just a scenario where then we have a smith's grove massacre based type of movie i think that would be fitting uh maybe you could have it end in the myers house somehow some way pay homage to resurrection even as a trash movie but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video